What's up, guys? My name is um Royal, as you know. Well, not Royal, but Astro Reacts, you know what I'm saying? And today I came to talk to y'all about a few stuff, you see what I'm saying? And like, um, I just need to come out and say it. I'm done reacting to videos, and this is why. So if you want to stick, stick by and stay tuned and figure out why that I'm done doing reactions, then come to the right place but the reason why I'm going to stop doing it is because you're gaining success off of other people which I found to not like these days like why would you want to gain so much success off of people you shouldn't have to gain success off of people you know you should be able to work hard yourself and gain success off yourself and all the work that you put in also is that this community has become so saturated and I'm tired of it I'm tired of faking on camera showing the side of me that I really wouldn't act in for the camera. I shouldn't act for the camera. I should be able to just do what I do, love to do what I do, and keep it moving. But for the future of this channel, it's going to turn into ML Visuals. ML Visuals is going to be nothing but about photography, filming, all of that, because I love that. A lot of people don't think that I can take really good photos. Um, you know what I'm saying? People don't think that I'm really video savvy like I can do certain things or a lot of people don't even think that I can do S S E O like ranking my videos and I have plenty of videos that's ranked with two two to three thousand views on it. But a lot of people think I can do that. But I'm sticking with photography though and film and video content. I'm gonna try to make you guys and improve you guys life through everybody eyes to show that you can do anything and it's possible and um I'm going to be talking in a professional way in all of the rest of my videos, but I'm still going to have fun. We still going to turn up, you know, we still going to have all that, you know, I'm going to be funny, try to be funny at least because I am pretty funny when I'm being serious, but, and also, um, people say, and I also think that you don't gain any success or you don't gain any type of fans when you re do reaction videos. Now you might say that that sounds stupid because people have millions and mil millions of subscribers from doing something I like to call reacting videos. You might you might think that, but in all honesty, that's no success. That's no growth in you. You're growing off of other people, which ties back into your gaining success off of other people. You see what I'm saying? Uh, people with million um, subscribers, they and they do reaction videos are bound to get copyrighted. They get copyrighted because they're taking other people's ideas and they're talking over it. They're using their videos. They're taking their fame from them. So they're bound to get a copyright strike instantly if they got more than like 100,000, 10,000, 30,000. More than 10,000 followers on YouTube or what you call them subscribers, they, you will get copyrighted most definitely. And that's just a fact. Next point I need to make, reaction videos. Reaction videos are probably the, the less edited videos of my whole life. Like, I never seen a reaction video that takes like hours and hours to edit. If you're doing like a photography video trying to get cool B-roll, I mean like A-roll, B-roll, like all of that, then it's gonna take a while to get it done because you gotta have the right lighting, the right everything for you to achieve what you're looking for, you see what I'm saying? And, um, that's like the less edited. I want to be able to work so hard on one video and then put it out and you see so much more interaction when you actually work hard for something or if you actually take time out your day to actually put forth an effort to something. When you let something just come to you, when you let when you let other people's work determine the, the determine your success it end up you end up not even enjoying what you do you end up falling out of love with what you do but for the people that's real fans that will watch this video and they will tag along with these visuals I'm doing like I said I'm bringing photography film stuff everything to help you guys improve your YouTube videos I, I'm I done stepped into the Instagram game of photography I have over 3,000 something followers I'm getting by uh, seven to eight followers a day. That's all right. That's pretty good for me at the size I am. I know people gaining hundreds, 100, 200, 300 followers a day. You know what I'm saying? And I post every other two days and I try to post consistently. I'm supposed to be breaking on some more films today. Um, and I think I'm gonna record a photography video today for you guys later on today. I'm gonna try to post. I said, as I said, I'm gonna be active on like I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna be working hard this whole summer. Started from I think it's June the 18th now, but we've been out of school since May 26th. 
and we just got to hotel two three weeks ago so you know who my other house getting built and the video like everything will step up once I get to the house because I'm gonna have all my equipment my monitors everything I'm gonna need just to be absolutely amazing but while I'm here I'm gonna work hard okay I'm gonna try to get two videos out a day one tutorial one to just talk to you guys and, and see what you guys like and see how your life is going basically I guess or I might upload like two photography videos I might be working on something for Instagram so if you guys want to go check out my Instagram make sure you go down below to the link in the description and my name on there is ML visuals you can also DM me or email me on there by the way as a little side tip so he just ain't going. I want to make this kind of a lengthy video, okay? I'm gonna try. I'm trying. I'm trying to make more than a 10 minute video. I'm gonna try to make a 10 minute video of me talking, okay? Basically, and I'm gonna get all the good parts out. <laughs> so don't. So yeah, back to the reaction part. Hold on. So about the reaction part is just that. Why would you not? Why would you want to do reaction videos? I did 66 of them, okay? I deleted some because they got copyrighted. Copyrighted. Yes, they got copyrighted. I couldn't even. They now the way that YouTube has got so smart with copyright, they 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 block up your videos from very popular places that that video is doing well from. If you don't believe me, you can just go check out a video, upload a copyrighted video, and see where they block it at. It might say in some countries, but if it say all countries, it's all popular. But if you upload a video, and it say blocked in some countries that mean that that video is doing popular in those countries so if you upload that video without being blocked in the country you could probably get hundred like 100 200 300 views like no like when I uploaded it was a pentatonic reaction it was hallelujah when it first was hot and I gained like over a thousand views in like four hours guys I'm telling you like the number skyrocketed but I had to delete it because it was blocked in all countries after they got back to me but they like it was like a thousand views in four hours and you know I did it I got suggested under their main video like their main video I was the first suggestion from them and so that put me on the map right there I gained 15 subscribers from that out of those thousand views I wasn't the best reactor and I thought it was pretty good then but now I'm gaining 15 and it took me like a week or two just to gain one subscriber one and I had four videos uploaded now I got 216 17 keep fluctuating but you know what I'm saying so that's see what I mean that ties back also into you biting style like you biting off of other people's success I bit off of pentatonics because I'm suggested up on a video reacting to what they created just like with um fourth impact I'm reacting to their stuff right and I'm getting recommended because that's their stuff and I'm just talking over it that's stupid man if you really want to see YouTube if you really want to connect with different creators you're gonna have to be original not so much as original, but you got to make content yourself. You can't bite off of other people. That's what reaction channels don't get. Also, a lot of reaction channel not too long ago was getting taken down, and I'm not for that getting taken down stuff. So I'm trying to do so much better. Um, you know, but let me get back into when I was talking about how um, filming, filming. Okay, so with this whole filming thing, I know how to stabilize videos. I know how to shoot B-roll. I'm alright with B-roll. I'm alright. I still got a lot to learn, but I'm pretty good at it. I learned a lot of tips on how to do all this stuff. I learned myself, okay? I just didn't jump on YouTube. I just didn't start doing, trying to do video content, photography. I've been doing photography, Instagram stuff for eight months. I and I and but with my photography, I didn't upload it to Instagram. I just had it because I like doing it. I've been doing photography. And video content way before I said I'm changing my channel. I've been doing that, I've been, and I fell in love with it now. But I've been doing video content. I started. Uh, I had another YouTube channel. I started in June of last year. Basically, I've been doing YouTube for a year, a year, guys. So I know. Uh, uh, I, I don't know much people that have been doing it for three, four years, but I know a pretty good bit because when I first got on YouTube, I was studying. With photography, I've been studying. Like I study this. I go on other big channels that do the same thing, or when I'm starting to do targeting different people who do photography and stuff like that. I've been looking at their videos, learning from them. I study. If I'm like in school, I don't study. School studying? Get out of here with that. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't study in school. Okay. 
I study outside extracurricular stuff. If it's if I'm doing photography, I'm gonna study how to be the best photographer. If I'm doing filming, I'm gonna study to be how to be the best filmer. That's what I do. I go on all and I'll be on YouTube literally from when I get up to the end of the day watching YouTube videos on how to make better films, how to shoot time lapses, how to do all of this. And I learn from my failures. If I upload a picture to Instagram, I only got one picture uploaded though that's because I deleted all the other ones because I was taking pictures from an app put it on there I know sad story right that's was a that was a few days ago I deleted all my pictures and it had like 800 900 to 1000 likes on which I don't even get that many no more so that's because I switched up the genre of things but on my lavy I got 40 42 likes right 42 that's 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 a success for me if I get more than 20 likes on a if I get more than 20 likes on a picture that means success for me I don't know what success means to y'all now speaking of that let me go into the point about success success to you and me may very different may very different okay I'm just talking to you guys just real talk the whole video I'm not editing this video I'm taking this video straight from here oh I gotta sync the audio and stuff other besides that I'm I'm literally not doing anything else like not I'm not doing no editing no cool cuts no none of that bro I'm just talking straight to the camera okay and if people enjoy this they enjoy it they don't they don't oh well man YouTube is something to change build grow and grow into what you really supposed to be okay so so success to you may be gaining 50 subscribers on YouTube my success on YouTube since I'm such a small channel, is for me to gain five to six subscribers in one day. I said, success to me is gaining six subscribers in one day. Yours is gaining 50 in one month, okay? Now, if you do 50 divided by 30, okay? So it only goes into one time. So that means that you gain gaining probably two subscribers a day or maybe one and a half because somebody unsubscribed and you can't you can't you can't get a half of a subscriber on YouTube like it's not possible unless they watch it and think about it but they didn't do it so you got half a subscriber and they but they they won't subscribe to you but they were close to subscribing and they're gonna come back for the next video to determine they're gonna subscribe but for me it's gaining five to six followers a day on YouTube which average it average out to about 180 followers a month on YouTube. If I could do that, that'd be amazing because I can hit 1K flight in in about a year. Okay, so yeah, my success and your success is different. On Instagram, say you got two people. For you, it's getting overall for that month a thousand likes, and you only post four, no, like five pictures, and you get. 200 likes per little thing. That's a thousand views. 200 times five. That's a thousand, okay? So if you get 200 likes and you only post five pictures, that means you post two, maybe one week, and then one each for the next week. It's like one that week, one that week, one that week. Now that's success for you. Me, every time I upload, I wanna get 20 likes on the picture. 20 likes, 20. 20 would be the goal. That's like the goal of everything. 20 likes or more. A success to me is 20 likes or more. Think about that. A lot of people say, man, that ain't nothing. I get that in five minutes. You get that in five minutes, bro. Okay, that's cool, but it's not. It's competition, but it's not competition at the same time. My goals and your goals are different. I, I'm going to be excited to gain, gain 180 followers by the next month. That's kind of sad, but I would be excited for it because I worked hard for it. Now, why are you gaining 40 likes? Because you're out here spamming people in their DMs. You're out here, you're out here buying likes and follows. Like, that's stupid. I used to do that a long time ago. And that, and that account is, I don't even use that account. But, you see what I'm saying? Like, like, don't do that. Don't, don't do that, okay? So, drive, next key point. I'm just talking to the camera. I ain't got nothing else to do, bro. But drive. No, forget drive. Drive is when you go hard in something, okay? You go hard. You go all in for something that you love and you care for no matter what people say, think, or do anything, okay? Now, 
Let's be. Hold on one sec. Uh, what I'm saying. Oh, gear. Now the crazy thing about gear is that, like people say, gear isn't important. Okay. Now that's total stupid. That's stupidity. If I'm trying to use a night a 1930 box camera, right? I do know my cameras too. Like a lot of people don't even know what camera they shoot on. I shoot on a Nikon L3040. Wait, no, I shoot on Nikon L340 series, the 20th anniversary edition, or yeah, the 20th anniversary edition Nikon L3340. So, and it's a cool piece L3340, something like that. I know my stuff, okay? A box camera, a 1930 box camera that came out in 1930, and you try to upload that to Instagram, bro. And it's not even proportioned right, and it's not doing. You think you're gonna get a million likes on it? No, I don't care. But gear is important. Gear is important, okay? And don't get me wrong. Like, I'm shooting on a. What is this? $170 or $80 camera? I think so. Yeah, probably about $170, $180 camera. And that's good equipment for you. I mean, YouTube, all of that. It's just a point and shoot without a microphone on it. You can get an external microphone, sync the audio. You have amazing audio and a pretty good and pretty good images. If you had a room light the perfect way, then you it look like you're shooting in 4K. That's just me. So yeah, gear is important. Don't get me wrong. Gear is so important. Gear is the most important thing. They say that gear is important. It's the person who's using it. That is true. But if you can't change the ISO sensitivity, the ISO levels, you're not going to be able to get that, that a nice, cool, blurry background. If you want to check out a, a blurry background that I did with this camera that's not even, I don't even use, like it can't even switch lenses, but I can make different photos out of certain things, okay? So... Yeah, gear is important. Don't, don't, do not listen to that nonsense that gear is not important. It don't have to be like a thousand dollar. Now, don't get me wrong. Some gear isn't important. You don't need a two thousand dollar camera, okay? You don't need a, 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 a three thousand dollar, a fifty thousand dollar camera like a, like a, like a red camera to be a production genius. Like, none of that. No, no. It's not important to that aspect of buying extravagant, expensive stuff. But it is important to have something nice that look appealing and that works perfect for you. One camera for me may not work for you because you're looking for higher quality or maybe you want an external microphone or you might want to hook a monitor up. One day I'm going to hook a monitor up to this so I can see. It was a dog barking in the hotel. That's why I'm still here. So, yeah. So, yeah. One thing to you, one thing to me crazy but that thing is gonna wrap up the video as I said you know like just be you man don't let nobody tell you, you can't do some basically camera gear is important success drive all of that plays ties into it uh, speaking of that Peter McKinnon went from zero subscribers a year ago to about probably 650,000 followers today so you know just do what you do, man. Don't let nobody tell you can't do it. So, that's basically the more of the story. And more of me tell you that I'm done with this. So, peace out, guys. And I hope to see you guys in the next visual video that I'll be trying to do. Peace.